is this little box the future of 3D printing. Trust me, you've never seen anything like this before. At first glance, this might look like a normal 3D printer mounted on some sort of shelf, but inside is the Hitri 4K DSP light engine. Now, Kern is running a Kickstarter right now, and they've reached out to me and asked if I wanted to test out a prototype, and I said, sure, send one over. That's a big box. What exactly is this? Well, let's let them explain. Incorporating the merits of SLA, DLP, and LCD, the DSP light engine features high accuracy, a large build volume, and low costs. Its 4K UHD optical lens can be used to adjust projection distance and build volume at your will. Its 4K projection chip can generate a pixel size of up to 37 microns. It can form an incredibly big projection of 268 times 168 millimeters. It uses a 405 nanometers LED light source, compatible with all 395 to 410 nanometers photosensitive resins. It has an optical output power of up to 110 watts per square meters enabling ultra high speed printing. Its life is up to 18,000 hours and it is priced at only 15%, a DLP 4K light engine. This is wild, this is gonna be so cool. So the top half of this printer is pretty normal. It looks like it was based off a of hollet. Now, when you take out the bill plate and the reservoir, this is where you really get to see the modifications. The screen has been removed and replaced with a piece of glass. And on the bottom there is the light engine. You can see here, Hitri's got a really sleek design that basically looks like a projector box with a big projector lens. And you can see all the way up through to a clear piece of glass. And the back of it's got a few fans. I gotta say, some of the things that I really like about this is the 18,000 hour lifespan, the 4K resolution, and of course the fast printing speed. Now, this is super useful because it's compatible with so many different printers. Eligu, Anycubic, Frozen, Flashforge, you name it, pretty much almost anything that you can find out there is compatible with this light engine. I took this thing apart because I thought it was important to assemble it and show you how it's done. The housing is basically a steel frame with four pieces of Lexan. It screws together and then you just simply screw the sides on. Each one of these panels has six screws. There's a bottom and a top bracket. Here's the top bracket with the screw hangers already in place. This bolts on top with four screws. Snug them down. And then these are the brackets in which the light engine hangs. They just screws in place. I left everything a little bit loose so I can adjust it once I put the light engine in. The light engine sits on this flange and four little screws keep it in place. Again, just keep everything a little bit loose until it's time to snug it all down. Now, this is a prototype, so this printer already came disassembled. The bottom was taken off it and all the LCD screen and the guts was hauled out of it. And I was left with the ribbon cables and the harness. This simply goes on top of the unit and then there are four little screws that hold this in place, which bolts through the bottom of the printer and the top of the housing. Then I clip the ribbon cable into place, the wiring harness, and finally I put the fans on the back. I found it was easier to take the panels off when working on this, and that's it. I like the stand too because I could place it right on the floor. Now, this thing, actually has to be leveled and that's to keep that light engine parallel to the top of the printer. You can see I nailed that bubble right in the middle. Then I did an exposure test. Everything was working great. Next up, leveling. This is done just like any other resin printer. So you want to make sure you level it because you don't want any misprints due to leveling. So far my initial impressions of this machine has been pretty good. I'm actually happy with this housing on the bottom. It seems pretty sturdy and it's got a nice build quality to it. 
The way the printer fits on top of it is pretty good. I can't really complain about that. The light engine looks nice and solid. It's in there pretty secure. I'm definitely excited to use some of these resins that I got, do some exposure tests and get to printing and see what this thing is actually capable of and how fast it can really go. They sent me out with some high speed and some high precision resin. Mm -hmm. But before we get going here, I'm really excited to announce the new sponsor of my channel. When I first seen these graphic tees from Into The AM, I thought they were so cool and really vibe with my creative side that I like to showcase here at Facility D20, so it's been really cool to have them as a sponsor. I picked out a few of my personal favorite shirts, but there are so many more awesome designs on their website that you need to go check out. So click the link in my description and get 10% off these premium made tees. They also have package deals where you can get 3 graphic tees for $60 or 3 basic tees for $49.95. I've been wearing these for a while now and the prints are bright and sharp and the shirts are super soft, hang just right and you can truly feel the quality. Into the AM also has a lot of bundle packs for extra savings as well which is always awesome. Follow the link below and check them out. The Hitry light engine is compatible with Chew 2 Box Pro and it came with some profiles that I loaded into the program. Now, I went with the high precision resin first and I found that a 2 second layer time with a 20 second base layer time was perfect. However, the trick here was it required about a 2 minute curing time. The exposure test came out pretty good even though I had a little bit of a mirroring problem. Now I needed to print something really cool and that's where Sanex 3D comes in. They make some absolutely amazing STL files for all kinds of statues from Marvel, DC and all your favorite movies and shows. These guys are incredible and I couldn't wait to print something and I picked out one of my favorites, Wolverine. I've got links to Sanix below in the description, make sure you check it out. Once I sliced this thing up on Chitu Box, I loaded it into the light engine and started printing. Here you can see the light engine in work and an incredible feature with this printer, you can look up and under and actually see that light hit the resin and watch the curing take place. It's so cool to be able to look up and see this. And I got to say, I was thrilled to have my first print off of this machine. Build plate adhesion was really good and I popped it out of the sports really nicely. Then I washed it in some alcohol and cured it for two minutes. As you can see here, Wolverine came out absolutely incredible. The details were really impressive and I was blown away by my first print. The light engine was able to render in all the textures and details on all the clothing, armor, and facial features of Wolverine. Really impressive. Now guys, if you were a fan of that 90s cartoon, make sure to go ahead and smash that like button. You guys know my channel, I love to print minis, and I've got some amazing diesel punk minis from Print Minis that I wanted to go ahead and print on this printer as well. And I've got to say, it handled the miniatures no problem whatsoever, and all the details came out sharp and crisp. I've also got Print Minis link below, check them out. They make some fantastic stuff as well. Running a YouTube channel could be pretty tough, but watching that subscriber count go up and the facility grow makes it all worthwhile because you guys are awesome. And I've got some amazing, mind-blowing projects that I'm working on right now, so smash that subscribe button. You're not going to want to miss them. Next up was the high-speed resin, and man, they were not kidding. After fooling around with the settings for a little bit, I was able to doll this thing in to a one-second exposure time with a four-second bottom exposure. Now, I did have to print a few of these exposure test prints in order to get these settings dialed in because what I found was that after I washed and cured it, that I had to have a very short curing time or the prints would shrink and get brittle and change color. What I found was that this resin only needed 30 seconds to cure. Any more than that was too much. Now that I had it dialed in, it was time to print one of my favorite X-Men of all time, Rogue. Guys, let me know who your favorite X-Men is and drop it in the comments below. But I got to say that this resin was absolutely phenomenal as well. 
Now, I know it's kind of hard to see here in white, but the details in this resin is simply stunning and are as good or better than the high precision resin. As always, a big thank you to my Patreon members. It's support from you guys that allow me to produce content like this. You guys are rock. I loaded up the print bed with some more miniatures from print miniatures in different size scales because I wanted to see if this resin could handle that detail as well. And I gotta say, at a three hour print time, it was super fast and it did in fact have no problems printing on the smaller scale. Wall hard to see, these miniatures also came out spectacular. I've had this printer rock and prints now for a week straight. Once I got that resin dialed in, I was able to produce some absolutely high quality and consistent prints all week long. And I got to say that this Lloyd engine is capable of some absolutely amazing details. These statues and minis just look fantastic. The camera don't do them justice. You should see them in real life. Now, is this actually the future of 3D printing? Well, possibly. But I think a more accurate statement would be that this light engine is capable of bringing your old printer back to the future. Because you can take this rig and this housing and put it in so many different types of printers, if you've got an older obsolete printer, you're looking to upgrade your light source, or maybe you've got a damaged or broken machine, you can take this light engine, put it in it, and all of a sudden your old rig is up to today's standards, which is very cool. Now, continuing on with that theme, I've got two more amazing prints produced from this light engine that I want to show you. I've saved the best resin for last, and that's the high precision skin color resin. Now, back to the future, right? Doc and Marty. I printed them up, and I got to say that this was definitely the nicest resin out of the lot. This Hitry DSP 4K light engine is simply amazing. I've got the link below to the Kickstarter. You guys need to go check it out if you're looking to upgrade your printer. It's a really cool technology and I'm excited to have been able to test it out. And as always guys, I've got a ton of cool videos on my channel. Make sure you check them out. I've got some links right here. 